Hey, welcome back to the channel here at the off-grid property. I know it's been a while. I've been gone for a couple of months. I've not been able to get up here. But here I am. I got up yesterday afternoon. Um, went and saw a friend on the ranch. And just after I got here, I got unloaded. And within 20 minutes, it started raining. So it rained for about almost an hour and got pretty, pretty wet out here. But because it's been so dry, it hasn't rained here in a couple of weeks. Um, the ground just soaked it right up. And after a couple of hours, uh, it was, the ground was dry enough to walk on. You weren't really getting any mud stuck to your shoes. So it has rained quite a bit over here since I was last here a couple of months ago. We've gotten quite a bit of rain. As you can see, the ground is no longer, no longer cracked. I mean, just surface, just the surface cracks that you can just make go away with your finger, but no more of those huge, deep cracks in the ground. They've, uh, they've all gone away with the uh, water that we've gotten here. The ground has uh, absorbed it all and expanded. So yeah, it's pretty green up here right now. Um, a lot of new grasses. And because of the new grasses, uh, because this is an open cattle ranch that my property is on, that means the cows came in, lots of cows. Um, just, uh, yeah, just herds and herds of them came through or eating grass. They were showing up on my, uh, on my surveillance there in the front of the cabin, just constantly. So I can guarantee there's gonna be a bunch of cattle on my game camera back there, but it is what it is. That's what they do here. They eat the grasses and, uh, you know, and then we eat them, so. <laughs> All right, um, so my wife and I were talking a couple of weeks ago and it really, it just struck me uh, how soon I'm going to have to start doing things around here to prepare for our eventual move up here someday. I've got approximately five and a half to six years before I retire. And after that, we plan to move up here at some point permanently. But before doing so, um, there's a lot of things we got to do. And uh, we're not going to be living in the little cabin. That's just a little temporary, not temporary, but it was a uh, little structure for me to, to kind of get established out here in and lock things up and have a refrigerator and a bed and all that stuff. But that's just too small for us. We have plans of building way back there. Uh, there's a really nice spot back there for a home site. And I think we've decided that we're gonna start off with a smaller, uh, probably a, a manufactured home. We're gonna have one brought up here at some point. And then we will uh, expand off of that in the future to make it what we want. But prior to getting a manufactured home up here, uh, legally, you have to have a septic system put in um, and it all has to be permitted. So um, there's some things I have to do before I can get a structure like that brought up here. And uh, real quick, I think I'm gonna take you guys back there and just show you where we would like to put the, the home site, just so you can get an idea of where it's at here on the property. So we're gonna be going way back that way. I'll see you when I get there. Okay, so here we are at the site uh, where I'd like to put a permanent structure. Um, it's very nice here. We've been wanting to build here for a long time, for many years, but uh, we just haven't, uh, I don't know, it's been kind of a distant thought and now it just, it just struck us that we gotta kinda get on it because <laughs> we're, we're running out of time. So um, these trees have grown some since we've been wanting to build here, unfortunately, and uh, I'm gonna take a lot of these out. Just clear this whole meadow out right here. It's very nice here, it's flat, there's no rock. It's just, it's just very open and flat. So it's a perfect spot to uh, put a septic system in. If I, uh, if I had to guess on my property, it's probably be one of the better spots to do it. And it's just, it's just a nice meadow here. It's very open. You know, once you get some of these trees out of here, it'll be really, really nice. Plenty of room for a house and a garage and all that stuff, solar. So it's hard to tell, but for reference, my camp and my little cabin. I don't know if you could see it. Way over there is the little wind turbine. I don't know if you could see it on camera from here. 
Um, let's see if I can give you a better, a better shot from over here. No, you really can't see it. The trees have really grown out here, so it's really hard to see very far. But for reference, if you know where I keep my game camera, the tree, which is out behind my camp, that tree, right over the top of that tree, that's the tree where I hang my game camera. So we're, we're back here now. So, yeah, it's a beautiful location. I should have probably cleared these trees out years ago before they grew so big, because <laughs> it's going to be a more of a task to get rid of some of these. They have absolutely grown since since I've been here. So um, I gotta trim these. They're old, old junipers here that kind of got damaged uh, several years ago in uh, ice and snow that we had here. So I gotta clean those up and those are gonna stay because they're really nice trees. But all these other little ones, they're gonna come out. I might keep a couple of these bigger ones, trim them up some. Let them grow really nice and big. But for the most part, just imagine this all cleared out right here and just flat and beautiful. Perfect, perfect place for a home here. Um, but yeah, I gotta get a septic put in at some point first. I don't know where they're gonna wanna put that, probably somewhere over there, away from, because we're thinking about putting the home right here in this general area here. And I, I would imagine the subject would go over there in the leach field and all that stuff. So, but who knows? I'm not the expert on that. Hopefully to keep things a little bit cheaper for me, um, if they'll allow me to, I'll do the excavation for it with my tractor. Wherever they want me to dig, I'll dig. And hopefully that'll make things a little cheaper. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know I put in a series of gates at the front of my proper on the east side of my property. And one of the gates, one section is pretty wide and that was to have access to a new road that I'm gonna put in that comes straight back here. And that road is essentially gonna go straight that way to the, to the gate. So that's gonna take a lot of work for me to clear that out with the tractor. There's a lot of big rock back there. Uh, once you leave this side of the property, a lot of rock over there. So it'll be a pain, I'll have to remove some trees, but eventually we'll have a nice big road it goes from here straight back to the gate there. And uh, we'll be able to bring in larger stuff like a manufactured home and equipment and trucks, trucks and trailers with the, uh, you know, deliveries and whatnot. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys an idea of what we're doing. Uh, gonna shift uh, a little bit of my focus at, at times. It's gonna be back here. I'm gonna be working on stuff back here because we gotta, get, we gotta do this. I've got about six years or so I mean, technically I can, I can retire in five and a half years, but we'll see. We'll see what things are like then at work and whether I still want to keep putting up with it. But uh, basically five and a half, six years, we're going to at some point come up here. Um, I don't know. My son will be in high school at that point and we may not want to move him. We might want to let him just stay there and finish out high school and then go on and do what he's gonna do before we move up here. So, we'll see, it's a, it's a fluid thing. Everything is subject to change, but uh, yeah. So, I am up here for only a day, unfortunately. Again, it's just my three day weekend, and one day is coming up here, completely exhausted after working all night long, which was yesterday. And then today, I've gotta to get some stuff done. I plan on going over and seeing a friend at some point in time who just moved up here recently. Um, Wanna go say hi to him. And uh, I've got some work to do over there by the camp. I think I alluded to it in the last video. So stuff I wanna get cleaned up over there. So um, in the meantime, let's, uh, let's take a look and see what we got on the game camera. It's been a couple of months. I'm sure we got some really good stuff on there. So uh, yeah, let's take a look, see what we got.
All right, so we had some pretty good stuff on the game camera. Looks like we had some elk and some deer. This is the time of year for the elk for sure. Uh, we are here in the uh, beginning of September, so the hunters are up, the elk are moving, and we saw it there on the camera over the last couple of months. So pretty cool. There were a lot of cattle that I got rid of <laughs> out of that whole run of videos, but uh, yeah, pretty neat. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, beginning of September. It's a little warm out here. It's about 85 degrees. Not too bad, but still a little warm. And it got up to about 82 inside earlier, so I threw the, uh, the AC on. It's currently running off the solar power. So the batteries, uh, they can't quite get into float. They're in absorb. Um, so they're, they're up to 14 plus volts right now. But uh, I think with the AC on, it just will not let it get into float mode. Um, so yeah, we'll have to upgrade the system at some point in time, but, uh, anyways, um, let's see in the last video, I think I talked about it, 
but I've, I've accumulated quite a bit of scrap over here from different projects and I really want to just get this area cleaned up. Um, it's nice because I can pull from this stuff at times when I need something, when I'm working on a different project, but I just don't like it sitting here. It doesn't look that good. And, uh, you know, I try to stay away from some of the stereotypes, even though I, I probably fit into most of those. Um, but <laughs> I'd like to just get this stuff moved somewhere else where it's out of sight for the most part we'll see uh i was thinking about putting it back here and kind of organizing it a little bit i've got some wood that i need to chop up but i'm thinking about just stashing it back here somewhere where i still have easy access to it for my my work area and it's just not right there in, in plain view and uh it's more organized so I think I'm gonna put it back here and just clean that whole area up so it doesn't look like, you know, typical white trash, you know. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna be working on that for now. Uh, maybe I just bring the tractor over here and just load up the bucket and just carry all that stuff over there. Because I don't want to carry some of that stuff. It's pretty heavy, like the tiles and all that. It'd be easier just to use a tractor. So at some point I need to take that stump out so I have better access back there. But anyways, I'm going to work on that. And then afterward, I may go over and see my friend who just moved out here and his family just moved out here. They live over by that mountain over there. I can't see it on camera, but it's right over there. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I'm going to get to work. All right, so real quick before we get to work, I wanted to mention a couple of things before I forgot to tell you. But uh, um, number one, I'm going to be up here for about a week next month. Um, during that week, I'm absolutely going to finish the insulation in the cabin, top and bottom. I'm just going to get it done. Probably do a, just a whole day of uh, just misery. I hate doing it, but I want to get it done so I don't have to think about it and just put it behind me. So that's one thing I'm going to do. The other is I've got a project I'm going to do right over here with these railroad ties. I want to get that done. It's going to be something fun for us uh, in the future when we come up here and hang out. Um, also, I'm going to go over to the, the new uh, home site over there where we want to build and start clearing out some of those trees and kind of formulating a plan on the new road. Um, and there's going to be other things I get done while I'm here during that week that I can't think of or uh, just other things I want to get done while I'm here. So um, the other things I want to mention is uh, I'm probably going to do a video at some point. Uh, I'll probably post it on this channel and my other channel, Better Built Life, which is linked below every one of these videos, but um, something about personal health, something I learned about my own health that uh, has had a huge impact on my life recently, <laughs> but, uh, and something I wasn't aware of about my health. And uh, I just wanna do a, a quick video on that. I think it's gonna help a lot of people. Um, it sure as heck has helped me, so. I'll be doing a video on that in the future. Um, not sure how it's gonna go because it's a little uncomfortable because it's personal, but I think it's gonna help a lot of people. So that's why I'm gonna do it. Um, also, uh, next month, my wife and I and my son are going to be taking a trip over by Sedona for a few days. And I'll probably, probably be documenting that and putting it on my other channel, so. Look out for that in the future, but uh, yeah. So now, let's get to work.
These are for a future project that we'll probably do when I'm up here next month for that week.
I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's raining all around me. <laughs> Just all over there, it's raining. You can probably see the, the wispiness of, those, of the white part of the cloud there. That's rain coming down with the sun shining on it. Yep, but not here, which is good for now. Okay, it's much later in the day. I had to stop doing what I was doing over at the junk pile there um, because I wanted to be back here now at this time. But uh, I broke away from this. I went over and visited my friend who uh, he and his family just recently moved out here. And boy, is their home beautiful. Wow. Anyways, um, they've still got a lot of work to do and it'll be an ever evolving process over there much like it'll be here someday, but uh, man, is it nice over there. Whew. Anyways, it's much later in the day now, so sun's gonna be going down here in a little bit. I'm probably not gonna do any more on the junk pile right now, just because I wanna chill and uh, get the grill going. Dang, man, look at my grill, it got all banged up. Stupid cows, stupid cows, anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna get the grill going here in a little bit and uh, have myself a nice steak, grass-fed beef. We, uh, we recently put in with a buddy of ours to uh, buy a cow. So he got half, I got half. And we got to choose whether it was grain finished or grass-fed and it was, we chose grass-fed and the meat is really, really good guys, really good. And it's cheaper than you can buy at freaking Walmart per pound. It's a big upfront cost, you know, like 1400 bucks cash. You don't have to pay cash, but we did, it's cheaper. But uh, it's, it's meat for a year. And if you, if you price it out at, at like say Walmart, which is where a lot of people get their food, it costs more to buy food there, more, more than to buy meat there. And it's not the same quality. This, this meat is great. It's what meat used to be, <laughs> what it should be now. So yeah, we got a whole bunch of it and uh, it's really good. I'm gonna cook one on the, on the grill here in a little bit. I don't typically record when I'm cooking because it's not the right lighting. And I mean, who wants to watch me grill a steak? So anyways, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick back up with the junk pile in the morning. All right, so it's the next day. I had myself a really nice steak on the barbecue last night. I think it came out perfect. The steak was awesome. And along with the steak, my wife had made some homemade baked beans that were amazing. So it was, it was an awesome meal. It was great. Um, I'm not, I don't cook a lot of steaks on the barbecue or anywhere else for that matter. I do a lot of chicken and burgers and stuff like that. So um, I can't remember the last time I, I barbecued or grilled a steak, but this, it came out perfect. I, I just got lucky. So, um, yeah, it's a little cloudy today. Kind of nice, actually. It's uh, cooled off out here a little bit, and I get to wear a short sleeve shirt so I don't burn. Um, so I'm not burning right now with the, <laughs> with the clouds overhead, which I prefer to wear a short sleeve shirt. But, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to get uh, back to my junk pile over there get that cleaned up and if i still have some time here before i leave i'm gonna go cut some firewood
All right, the trash pile is gone. I'm gonna get rid of these old planters. They're all sun, sun beaten and cracked. Yeah, I'll get those out of here in just a minute, but there was a pallet under here with some lumber stacked on top of it. And within the pallet and under the pallet was a massive, I don't know if you can see it, but a huge pack rat nest. Massive. So hopefully whatever was living in there doesn't take refuge in one of my little buildings here. It can't get inside the cabin, but maybe one of those it might. Anyways, let's go take a look at my organized trash. <clears throat> so now I can see what I have here. Not a lot, really. Got my metal, my lumber, and my tile. So, and some old piping right here conduit and the old washing machine and this is an old workbench I built about 12 years ago that just couldn't stand up to the snow load out here <laughs> and a couple of odds and end things over here that that's trash I'm probably gonna burn that but yeah I'm gonna burn that and everything over here is gonna be burnt at some point in time and then I got a huge pile of burnable lumber that I went ahead and stacked on the fire pit out in front of the cabin here with some to spare. I don't know if you can see the fire pit over there, but there's quite a bit of stuff on there. But right now I'm gonna I'm gonna get these planters out of here, move my rain barrels, and then I'm probably just gonna clean this up a little bit with the tractor. And I think I'm gonna park this little trailer right over there in between those two trees. All right, guys, I'm done in this area. It sure looks a bit different. It's, it's opened up quite a bit, so I'll try to get out of your way. <clears throat> There's a big rock <laughs> right there. It's one of those things where you think it's just something on the surface and it ends up going way down. I'll end up pulling that out later with the backhoe. It's just, it's too much strain on my loader bucket to try to rip that up out of the ground. And it's, it's probably gonna be like this damn big, so. I'll do that later. I got a big one here, there, and another one right over there. I'm gonna pull out with the backhoe next time I'm here. And I'm gonna completely grade this flat the best I can with my bucket because I don't have a, a rear blade or a gannon box. So something I'll be getting in the future. 
And you know what I'd really like to have is a set of pallet forks. Instead of using that bucket all the time, I could just put a pallet on the forks and just load it up, you know. Make things a little easier for me, but that'll come in the future. All it takes is money. Anyways, yeah, it's really opened this up quite a bit. Uh, no more eyesore here with my junk. And uh, yeah, just I feel better about it. So unfortunately, I am way past. I should have left here about 25 minutes ago. So I'm a little late and a little sunburned because the sun's been coming out here and there and frying me up. So I'm going to go ahead and start just packing everything up, putting everything away, put the tractor where it goes, put the quad back inside behind you here in the shipping container. Gather all my things and hit the road because I still have a six hour drive ahead of me and I gotta be at work, oddly enough, early in the morning for a little while. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Um, again, I'll be here for about a week next month sometime, probably mid, late next month. And, uh, before that, I'll probably post a video of us going to Sedona on my other channel, which is down in the description below, Better Built Life. So go ahead and check that out when it's available. Anyways, you guys take care, be safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.